What's cracking YouTube? My name's Brody and welcome to episode number 14 of our Pokemon Y Wonderlock that has been going down on the channel as of late and I just have to say something real quick. I'm sorry for not uploading this for like at least two weeks. I kind of came down with a bit of a sickness in the past week just gone and I had priorities like TCG is the priority on the channel. So, but we are here today, we're back with episode 14. So in the last episode, uh, what happened was we made our way with well, pretty much what we did was we made our way through Route 9 um, on the back of Rhyhorn and I believe we caught a Hippopotas and wanted to trade that one off and we got a Gyarados, which is pretty cool. It didn't have any like really powerful moves by any means, but it was a pretty, it's a Gyarados is a Gyarados. In the end, we can teach it moves, we can, we can make it work. Uh, but in today's episode, uh, what we're going to be trying to do, as you can see, I parked Rhyhorn here in front of this chick. I could battle her if I won, but I think I'm just going to skip her, because we got to watch our XP. But yeah, we're going to make our way through the Glittering Cave here, and we should have an encounter here as well. So let's go through, let's make our way through, and here is our encounter for the Glittering Cave. And it's an Onyx, okay. Cool. So let's make this capture, let's use Gibble. I'm a little bit out of whack, obviously it has been a while. I might, I might try and... I might just Dragon Rage. Oh, Gibble's low on health as well, I gotta watch that. I'll try Dragon Rage. Okay, that's cool. Just gotta watch, just gotta watch Gibble's health. Hope we can get some nice damage off. <laughs> Talking about nice damage, let's get the perfect amount of damage off. Um, and let's... Let's go into the Pokeballs. We'll just use a plain Pokeball. And see if we can get this capture. So we missed that one. Okay, I'm going to have to power up Gibble because it's getting way too risky. We're in crit range with a, uh, a uh, non-super non effective or a, a not effective hit, I guess you could say. But let's power up Gibble here. Ooh, it looks good. It looks good. We should be able to get this capture and then hopefully we can get something nice because we got to the Grant in this large city gym. So we're going to make sure we got some power behind us for the second gym. But let's go. So let's use another Pokeball. And hopefully Onyx will stay in this time. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. So I did test the Wi-Fi, so one trading should be all good to go. There we go. There we go. So good. The, uh... What do you call it? The Rock Lizard. The Rock Snake. Let's just call it Rock Snake. Yeah, that's a pretty good nickname. Straight down the line. You guys know how it is. Pretty straight down the line. So it's number 53. It says, it usually lives underground. It searches for food while boring its way through the ground at 50 miles per hour. 50 miles per hour. Onyx, calm down. Calm down. So let's, um, let's name this Onyx Rock. Lizard. Perfect. I think, as long as I can spell. I have spelling issues, of course. But there we go. Transferred to box number one. And let's... Let's get off this Wonder Trade. Let's get into Wonder Trade. Amidi saved, uh, saved the game. Amidi. There we go, so that's the Gyarados that we got, as you guys can see, the moves aren't anything too special by any means. But here we go, so we got Rock Lizard, level 17 is a female, it has a timid nature with the ability Sturdy, so that's pretty cool. It's got Stealth Rock, Rock Tune, Rock Throw, and Rage. Cool, 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 cool. So let's trade that off. And let's just see what we can get. Hopefully we can get something nice. Nice and balanced for the game, because got, I gotta remember Dragon Times aren't all too special because of fairy typing in this game, so maybe not hoping for some dragon typage. Because I, I kinda did want something to back up Gibble just in case we happen to lose Gibble, but we got um, Mahara from Australia, from Queensland. Repping Queensland, just like me. Nice. So let's see what Mahara has for us today. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> oh, no way, guys. I was just saying that I wanted something to back up Gibble, and what better to back up Gibble than another Gibble? But here, this is where I have to make the decision. Do I want to implement Dupes Claws? Because we've already received a Gibble. I can actually want to trade off Gibble again. So let's have a look at this Gibble. Go back into Wonder Trade Chip because we should be able to have a look. If it's not nothing all too special, I think I might want to trade it off because we want variety. So it it's got sand sandstorm, takedown, sand tomb, and slash. The slash is pretty cool. It's a quiet nature. Mmm. Yeah, let's go for variety. Let's let's uh, roll the dice and hopefully get a six here. And let's go again. Call and dupe, dupes clause, as you guys know, in a wonder lock. If you happen to receive from a trade something that you've already received in the current wonder lock that you're doing, you can actually want to trade it off to get a better mon. This also, um, this also is implemented with evolution if, as well. So, for example, if I trade off Gibble and I get a Gabite, I can want to trade the Gabite, Gabite, Gabite off because I got a Gibble here. But we got, I believe it was someone from Japan. Japan, I'm guessing, I couldn't couldn't quite remember there. But let's see what they have for us today. A Glyca. That's what I'm talking about. That is a nice variety. I'm so glad to see that. That is some Gen 2 power. When played correctly, of course. But not bad. Not bad, you guys. I'll definitely take that in replace of Gibble. But let's have a look. Let's have a look at this. Gligar that we just received real quickly here in the wonder trade machine without wonder trading it off of course so it's a level one I believe I can't even remember what that giver was but that's okay um, we'll just do it off by scratch when if we decide to use Gligar we'll just train it up like normal but it's a sassy nature with immunity with just poison sting okay so that's interesting that is that is interesting because poison Poison type, which could be really good against these fairy typings. But yeah, let's continue on. That was the one to trade. So we got a Gligar. So we got Dupes Claws and then we got Gligar. So let's make our way through here. Hopefully not get too, too lost. Just going to turn the volume up a little bit so I can hear this awesome background music. There we go. Ooh. Sounds like they're creeping through like a maze. <laughs> <laughs> creeping through a maze, you know, like a cave. Nice, so we got a hard stone. And let's try not to get lost. So I believe right is our way out, and we want to go this way. Run! Oh, I was back here. Oh, that's a battle. Let's avoid that. And keep going. Hopefully that's... Oh my god, doesn't matter. <laughs> We've got a battle regardless, you guys. I wonder, I wonder. Another Onyx. Let's get out of there. Because we got to take on Team Flare. Up here, I believe. I believe, if I remember correctly. Yeah, for those who don't know, I actually have only played through... X or Y once, so everything's still pretty fresh to me. I I really want to get a refresher on this story before Sun and Moon came out. It's like, what's this? Ooh. Love it. Well, well, what do we have here? A nosy little trainer has come poking around. Listen up, we're fashion <laughs> we're the fashionable team whose very names make people tremble in fear. Team Flair. Team Flair's goal is to make it so we're the only ones who are happy. Greedy mother truckers. We don't care one bit about what happens to other trainers or Pokemon. Get out of here, kid. Don't you know what... Don't you know not to play with fire? Um... No? I don't know? <laughs> Getting my fancy suit dirty isn't the stylish way to do things. But if you insist, I'll obliterate you. Get him hound out. I guess I, I, I picked the right one. Because I definitely want to battle it, this guy. Look at his hair, dude.
Love, I love how it just speeds it up. It sounds so good. So let's go... Uh, definitely not Iron Head. Let's just Dragon Rage. Definitely my main move on Gibble for sure. It just is so consistent, so reliable. What do you got? Torchic! <laughs> Bring that Torchic. I completely forgot that we got Torchic. Was that last episode or the one before that? I have no clue, but hopefully we can um, knock this out because we can get some decent XP. <laughs> Look how Torchic runs back, that's so cute. Oh, Gibble level 19. Wants to learn Sand Tomb. I think that could be interesting. That could definitely be interesting. So do we want to get rid of Takedown? Hmm. Nah, we'll keep, keep Sand Tomb off for now. Because I think Takedown could be more useful because it's neutral damage. Yeah, let's get out of there. Come on. Give up on learning? Yes, sure do. Speed boost. Speed boost Torchic. Oh, that is so good. That is such a good Torchic. I love it. I love it. But let's go into Dino Clear. The shield on. I'm not sure what Dino Clear means because I believe this is a French uh, shield on. So it means something. Feel free to like search that one up on Google and let me know in the comment section below what Dino Clear means. But let's go. Take down, I guess that's the only um only move we can use. A little bit of recoil, that's okay. Take down again. We need to get some better moves on shield on because these moves aren't anything too too special. Come on. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Bit of luck. Take a rest, Zubat. Awesome, so we beat the first TFG, Team Flag Run. You may have beat me, but when I lose, I go out in style. So, Team Flag is all about being fashionable. I don't really recall that, but that I can, I can deal. What's this? You're pretty tough, Pokemon Trainer. You're a pretty tough Pokemon trainer for a kid. But watch yourself, I'm not the only member of Team Flare. Of course you're not. Of course not. Look at that. Look at that cart. Oh dang. Hello. We're gonna take everyone else down, so if we can do what we we want. A little emphasis on the we. Wee wee. Talking French name, wee wee. Gulpin. Look at those lips, those gulping lips though. Give me a kiss, gulping. Um, let's go Dragon Rage again. Should take it down to about the yellow, the red. Yeah. Gulpin just used Amnesia and forgot that I hit him. Uh, her. Sorry, her. See you later, fish face. Boosted XP, Electric. Hmm. Yeah, we're ground. Groundage. Good groundage typing. So let's take on you. So hopefully we can knock out this the glittering cave in today's episode. Hopefully these team ground um team playgrounds don't give us too too much trouble. I did just lock myself into outrage, but that should be okay. Nice, take a, take a seat. Hey, you weren't supposed to beat me. Well, give me some money. <laughs> oh dear. Now I'm the team flagrant. But yeah, I do I do remember running backwards and forwards through this cave trying to get an Aerodactyl. I can't remember, is it the old Amber? From Rock Smashing the Rocks in here? But tough. We're team player, we put fashion into fear. We were looking for fossils, but discovered a kid. Amity. Oh, Serena. How you doing? 
There are two members of Team Flare. Well then, are you ready to team up and battle them? Yeah, sure are. Take my hand, Bibi. If you just want to make people in Team Flare happy, why don't, you, why don't you just do that? But if you're going to go around threatening other people, we won't let you get away with it. We won't. We won't let you get away with it. Go Scraggy, go Krogunk. So we have two fighting dual types here. Scraggy Dark, Krogunk Poison. That's okay. I might even, I might even take a risk here and just get locked into our, uh, 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 not outrage, obviously. Let's just go this one and let's take out Scraggy. Oh, coming through with the hacks. Okay, not good. Not good for Esper, but that's okay. Because I probably want something other than Esper having my back here. On Krogunk? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, put it in, put it in the finest of work, that's Serena. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Double, double KO. In the XP, level 20. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh. Guess you could say we got them down on their knees. Backed into a corner. Go, go, Team Flare. Oh, I lost. I guess I'll stop cheering now. You've made me so sad, I think I'm going to cry. I don't blame you. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Oh man, my favorite fashionable Team Flare suit is filthy. Filthy. So filthy. If we can restore fossils, we can make some good money. Yeah. That's true. Get, get out of my way. Look at the green, like, green gems. They look so cool. They look so cool. Ooh. What's here? A Pokemans. Who fell down? A Woobat. So I'm just gonna um, class our encounter back, yeah, because this is all the glittering cave. So, oh, stop it, stop it. There we go. Yeah, the whole glittering cave is the whole glittering cave. So there's no encounters for that one. I found an escape rope. I'm definitely gonna use that escape rope. Hey, Mr. Scientist, what do you want? Did you find him? Yeah, I sure did. Why, hello. Here to look at fossils as well? Are you okay? Did Team Flare come here? T t team, team Flare? Flare? Team Flare? What's that? A Pokemon? Don't worry about it. He is clueless. Cl the clueless professor or scientist. He's found two fossils, so we're definitely going to get the Sail fossil for Amora for that ice typing. I love it, I love it. I do love Tyrant better, but I want I want the sale one this time. Because I don't get to use Amora. I love to I like, love to just pull cards like in the TCG that I I don't know, I don't see very much of. So I'm kind of taking that sort of approach in my gameplay as well. So I like to use mons that I wouldn't usually use just so I use them. Well, we went looking for the assistant and we found that sus suspicious group called Team Flare as well. I guess I should train more so I can travel safely with those Team Flare Pokemon, pe Pokemon Team Flare people <laughs> running around. In that case, I guess the best thing to do would be to challenge the Solar City Gym. Yes, it is. We're going to take on Grant for sure. So let's use this escape rope. Let's utilize, utilize this escape rope. I know it's Hillage. Don't want Hillage. We want the escape rope. We got two of them. Cool. So let's get up out of here. There we go. Express. And now we got to make our way back to Route 8. Hey, Raihon, why are you moving? I don't want to battle her. We're on our way out. So let's 
get up out of here. Hopefully we don't get bothered by too many pebbles. Actually, let's throw a rappel on as well. Because we're going to make our way back to Ambrot Town. And then I think we'll wrap up today's episode with that. I think we've made a lot of progress. We, we got through the Glittering Cave. And that was the goal. And yeah. Hopefully we don't get too many issues. Oops. Forgot about that. Raihorn, why are you so fat though? <laughs> There's not even enough room for two of them. Oh, actually, it probably is. Yeah, there it is. Look at the view though. I love, I love how you can kind of like see above the trees and stuff there. It's pretty cool. Attention to, de attention to detail in... I think we can get off here. Yeah, that's the one. Awesome. So yeah, let's get up out of here. And we'll quickly see if we can throw this. Does he want anything? Okay, no, he doesn't want anything. See if we can throw this fossil in the fossil lab here. I can't remember if you can or not. It's legit just being that long. But we'll see if we can drop it off. Yeah. Okay, that was quick. Awesome, so we got Amora and it's been sent to box one. And actually talking about ice typing and stuff, it, that doesn't really matter because in this wonder lock, um, this is classified as a special encounter. So I guess we're going to be kicking off the next episode with a wonder trade. So let's just have a quick look at this Amora that we just received. I didn't quite expect to get that back so quickly. Oops, we don't want to deposit. Don't want to deposit. Let's go withdraw. Well, look at this Amora. So, it's a bold nature. It has the ability to refrigerate. It has icy wind, a takedown, mist, and aurora beam. And it is a male. So, let's have a look in a bit more detail here. So, the nature is bold. So, what's that do? That ups defense and lowers attack. So, that's not bad, not good. Um, upping defense could be the difference between dying from a fighting, physical fighting move, and not dying or fainting. But yeah, cool. Not bad. So I'll I'll have to I'll leave that one there because we will one trade that one off at the start of the next episode. But yeah. So with that said, you guys, I guess it is time to wrap up today's episode. So we'll just we'll just finish her up here. Um. So made our way through through the gl glittering cave. Um. Encountered those team flag grunts for the first time, I believe. Um, so that was pretty cool. We um, made a lot of progress in today's episode, in my opinion. But in episode 15, um, what we're going to do is make our way through Route 8 and hopefully uh, arrive at Salaj City and make our way towards Challenging Grant. I don't know if that'll be in the next episode or the one after. But yes, and we'll be starting off episode 15 with a wonder trade. We're going to wonder trade off Amora and see what we can get. But if you guys enjoyed today's episode of the Pokemon Y Wonder Lock, be sure to drop a like down below. And I look forward to seeing you guys in episode number 15 or another one of my Pokemon trading card game openings. Thanks for watching. Peace.